What is going on guys and welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we are going to be making um, this kind of cloth look within Cinema 4D and we're going to be covering some of the dynamics tags and little options that you can do for animating and giving your cloth realistic movement and um, make it look as real as we possibly can. Alright, so let's hop straight into this. We'll try to make this half decently quick. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to choose an object which our cloth is going to interact with. And for the tutorial, we're going to use a sphere just because it's nice, it's round, it's easy. And rounded things are usually nice for shadows and reflections and etc, etc, etc. Alright, so now that we have our sphere, the next thing that we're going to want to do is we want to have our cloth object. And to make our cloth object, we're just going to use a plane. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit, and I'm going to change the width segments and the height segments to 50. And I'm going to make this about 600 by 600. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll make this 500 by 500, like so. And I'll turn under displays. I'm just going to turn on garage shading lines on so I can see my segments. All right. So we got our little scene set up here. We got our sphere, which is which is going to be the object that the cloth is going to wrap around, and we got our plane, which is our cloth. Now, to create the two, we have to tell Cinema 4D what is happening with each object and that is nice and easy within this program they make it very efficient all you gotta do is come over to the plane which is our cloth I'm just gonna rename that and then I'm just gonna name this uh, collider simple I'm gonna right click on our cloth I'm gonna come down to simulation tags and these last three here is what the cloth options are there's cloth belt there's cloth collider and there's cloth so our plane is going to be the cloth. So we're going to select the cloth. Nice and easy. Come down to the collider, do the same thing, except we click cloth collider. Perfect. Everything is good. So when we hit play, it should, this thing should fall, should land on the sphere, and we'll render it and send it off where and everything, wherever it needs to go. Let's hit play. Well, that didn't work. So the reason that this doesn't work right now is because when you have a cloth object on a certain item it's only gonna work if the item is made editable what so all we gotta do is come over here and click this button it makes it into an editable object a polygon object and now we are good to go so now when we click play the object falls and it wraps around our sphere and it does some crazy stuff and it stretches and interacts and intersects with itself anyways it does fall very fast which I don't quite like because it is a cloth object and they do tend to fall slower because they're lighter and bigger surface area and drag and everything so if we come under our cloth object and click on our cloth tag there's actually an option here for drag which I like to set to about 5% which slows down the descent enough that it's not so uh, crazy fast. I'm gonna set the frames in the scene to about 200 just so it has enough time to act out what it kinda wants to do like this look here where it's wrapped around and we got we got these nice little waves and folds in our cloth but this looks terrible with all these um, segments popping out and all these really rough lines and nobody wants that so I'm gonna back it out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a subdivision surface the beautiful thing that you just drag and drop the cloth in and it solves all our problems so now when we click play it wraps around and you get these great smooth lines everything is perfect you don't get any of these um, rough edges and everything and that's why we added segments at the beginning as well 
so that when you subdivide it, the subdivision doesn't have to do uh, too many subdivisions. It can just subdivide it once because if you leave it with the default segments, uh, when you do this, you'll still see some of the uh, roughness. You really have to have a ton of polygons to get these nice uh, smooth edges. Now the only other thing is looking at our plane, it seems very thin. It just seems very flat. When you pick up a blanket, it has some thickness to it, at least it's not perfectly flat. But our plane here is. And the problem with a plane is you can't go in it and just add thickness. You can't add, you may be able to add an extrude. You could probably select every single polygon and extrude them out, but there's something very simpler. More simple. Uh, you go to simulate, you go to cloth, and you add a cloth surface. This is a great tool. When we click on it, we get this beautiful option of thickness. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this a child of the subdivision surface and then we're going to drop the cloth a child of the cloth surface. So when we come into cloth surface I'm just going to add let's say three thickness to this cloth and when we do that we instantly get this nice it's thicker um, and it actually has it looks like it has some weight to it. So when I click play it is very uh, intensive on your computer so to speed things up you can just uncheck your subdivision surface and it'll speed it up you can get it to where you want to go and you just check it back on and when you render it it looks much 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 smoother and it, you got some nice uh, thicker edges and everything and that's pretty much the cloth items there's not too much there's for the cloth collider there's bounce and there's friction so that you can set it so it doesn't move as much when it hits it or or if it bounces off and in the cloth tag there's your gravity which is just your standard gravity the drag you can have some wind direction so it blows in in one way or the other and you can set the strength and everything like that but we don't really need any of this um, we're just going to stick to the basic stuff that we have here. We have our object colliding with our cloth, or our cloth colliding with our object, and all that good stuff. So now, to make this more realistic, um, inside Cinema 4D, under the Windows tab, there's this content browser, which is very nice, because if we come into Presets, we go Prime, we go Materials, we can actually come to fabric and I was using this silk one in the preview so I'm just going to use that one again I'm just going to drag it and drop it into our materials bar and I'm just going to apply that to our cloth and that looks much much better so the only other thing is we can add some some nice lighting I can add a sky make a material object, um, unchecked color, check on luminance. I can make the texture a gradient for V. So I just did that by clicking the little arrow. I went to gradient, I clicked on the picture of the gradient, and then I just did 2D V to make it go from dark to um, light at the top. And I'm gonna use a warmer light, so I'll make this a kind of a a dark brownish I'll come up to more of an orange and then we'll just make this uh, a, br a nice bright orange this is a little dark still so I'll just kind of go there and we have this nice gradient so if I drag and drop this onto the sky I can add uh, global illumination in our render settings and when I render this out now, it does take quite a while longer to render with global illumination just because the fabric object has um, some depth to it. It's trying to calculate where all the little lights are bouncing around and stuff like that. <clears throat> I 
and it's rendering out. There we got this. This is kind of a bad mix and match for color, so purple goes better with a darker color. So we're going to make the gradient a little bit, maybe like a, a dark purple gradient, just to get... Um, like a really bright one. Just to kind of keep it around the same color because the orange is, doesn't really go well with purple. So like you can see it does take a while but the cloth object um, is pretty simple when it gets down to it there's the two tags it's pretty much the same as the rigid bodies and the soft bodies and everything inside of Cinema 4D but this is our look you can add some separate lights add a bunch of shadows and everything with you want but it's pretty simple and we'll keep it nice and simple for now alright guys if you like this video about the cloth object within sin with inside Cinema 4D leave a like down below if you got any questions uh, leave a question in the comment section and I will answer it to the best of my abilities. I can usually answer it pretty quickly. And yeah, I will see you guys all next time. See ya.